the drill press was mechanically sound, and the bearings were good. I love, the older beefy cast iron tools. The cost was only $30. The old motor was fine, and I'll use it for something else later I'm sure. I will clean up the metal surfaces later after the mechanical part of the project is finished. Here is the treadmill motor and speed controller. What was nice about this was that it had a pot instead of a digital speed adjust. Easy to rob for this project. What is not shown is the original treadmill pulley removal, boring out a new 2 inch 5 8 bore pulley to 17 mm, and cutting a key notch on the motor shaft, and inside the pulley. I cut pieces from angle iron, welded them onto the original treadmill steel, and drilled holes for the motor mount plate. This allowed for the same V-belt tensioning adjustments as before. I used a rotary tool and cut pieces from the lift over black plastic treadmill scraps to cover the speed controller and RPM meter. I made a bracket for the RPM meter out of sheet metal. The sensor detects rare earth magnets stuck onto the spindle. These kits are $9 online. I just cut the section of the treadmill display with a rotary tool, removed the panel sticker, and used more scrap plastic to cover the backside after mounting it to the steel brackets. The videos show initial testing, and then the final product. Now that I know it all works I will take it apart to sand, paint, and perhaps replace the spindle bearings. The spindle speed is lower than the drill press is rated for. So for light milling, there is room to slide the motor up on the mount so the belt can engage the smaller pulleys and increase the speed.